made it. Yeah. Welcome to my latest experiment. This is a big one, the one I've been waiting for all my life. Ah, uh, well, it's a DeLorean, right? Stay with what me, Marty. All your questions will be answered. Roll yeah. tape. Okay, I will on. proceed. Ah, uh, Doc. Uh, is that a D-Roll? Never mind that now. Never mind that right. now. Right now. Right now. All right, I'm ready. Good evening. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26, 1985, 1.18 a.m. And this is temporal experiment number one. Come on, honey. Hey, hey, boy, get in there. Yeah, no, boy. In here you go. Sit down. Put your seatbelt on. That's it. Whoa, whoa. whoa. OK. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it. Right, check them. Good. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch your head. Get that thing hooked up to the car. Watch this. Yeah, okay. Got it. My calculations are correct. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. Both Einstein and the car are completely intact. Then where the hell are they? The appropriate question is, when the hell are they? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler. I sent him into the future. One minute into the future, to be exact. And precisely, 1.21 a.m. in zero seconds, we shall catch up with him at the time machine. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? The way I see it, if you're going to build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Besides, the stainless steel construction made the flux dispersal. <laughs> 